Yeah, what's going on? What's happening? Yo, Gilly, look. I got I got this proposal and this up to you if, if you want to do it or not. Who? We gonna... Who this? This is me six. We can take it there. Yeah. We can make it there. Keep the kids out the kitchen. Come on. Cause it ain't safe for here. Stupid chickens in the kitchen. Yeah. Bitch, we can bake it here. Okay. I knew that you were special, Benny. How you make it here? How you make it I went here? to the store to grab an Arizona. Hey. I ain't tripping off no nigga. Got my own persona. Hey. Uh, I can't even think without no Mary Jane. Mary In that water, but you ain't know how to float. Hey, no money hey, lasts forever. I ain't never letting go. go. This ain't no Aaliyah, bitch. bitch we we rock just like a boat. Hey, hey, hey come on. Hey, 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 ain't for the coat. Hope that bitch a letter. I guess she ain't get the note. Hey, hey, hey come on. Hey, get your shit together. Hey. This ain't no fucking Drake, but bitch. Hey. We have a shit forever. Okay. Hey, got to get it started yeah. like a ladder. We can spark a fire. Hey, off of Cardi's on my bitch. She trying to match the car. They like, hey. Ben, you the chosen one. Yeah. I feel inspired. I never had a job, I'm steady getting fired. Hey, come hey, here. hey, you gon' get your feelings hurt. Yeah, Why hey. it be the ones you love that oh. you hurt the worst? Yeah, hey. yeah. I can't let nobody that don't love me come first. Come on, come on. Hey, hey. That's my brother, he yeah. a butter earth. Yeah. Anyway, don't let me go. Don't let me go. You jumped up in that water, but you ain't know how to float. Hey, no money hey. lasts forever, I ain't never letting go. This ain't no Aaliyah, bitch, bitch we rock, rock just like a boat. Hey, hey, hey come on. Hey, hey. hey Sinead ain't for the coat. Hey, that bitch a letter, I guess she ain't get the note. Hey, come on. Hey, get your shit together. Yeah, 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 Barstu Sports. Song of the week that was. Man, song uh, Little, Little Bennett. Bennett, Arizona, man. Mm-hmm. Arizona, Little Bennett, he's doing Shout his out thing. To Little Bennett, man. That's what. That's what doing. we like to do, man. We like to show the youngins, man, from all over the world. You know, it don't matter where you're from. You know, we looking for some R and B shit to come through. We will play R and B shit too. We don't just, you know, it ain't just a hip hop thing. You know what I mean? We looking for to show everybody love. We 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 lose all of our YouTube revenue just to show all of the up and coming artists that we see send us some shit. We, we you know what I mean, we like the shit. We show y'all some love. So. And we gonna go like this. We gonna get right into it, man. Ain't nothing like protection. Ain't nothing like having security on everything. You know, like Mona, she like to have security on her heart. And I, you know, I I would advise her to get simply safe security and if you want to get simply safe one thing about simply safe is just like having me and this guy and we was like two security guards watching your house you know me i'm going to be jumping all over i'm talking about if an ant move i'm jumping on it i'm talking about if a fly hits your window i'm jumping on it that's what simply safe do for you this guy he's just going to blow the whistle <laughs> hey Thompson may have he's going to blow the whistle He's going to uh, alarm the like whistleblower. No, I'm just saying you're going to blow the whistle. You like to blow whistles. It's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We doing security gig. We got a security gig. That's one thing about Simply Safe. Listen, man, $15 a month, man, listen. You're out of here. They take care of everything for you. I'm talking about you ain't got to worry about nothing. And one thing about Simply Safe, not only do we think Simply Safe is gate great, US News and World Reports named it the best overall house security in 2020. One thing about it, what you need to do right now is go to simplysafe.com slash G A M E. Simplysafe.com slash G A M E. That's the code game. Listen, go there. I'm talking about get your stuff right now. Simply Safe, and it's just like that. Right. Yeah, I'm going to get a million dollars worth of game. Sure. I'll be on the gram. All the time. And I'd be like, like, say if you go to the Explorer page, it's like, everybody look the same. So I'll be saying that sometime too. It's, I almost feel like everybody look the same. And I, I ain't, you know, it's not like I'm mad or nothing like that. It's just like, it's like everybody look the same. Everybody got the same clothes on. Everybody promoting the same shit. And yeah. something just popped in my head. What's that, sir? It was like, because 
being a bad bitch right now was at an all time high. We can. Yeah. I, I know so. some bitches that was that was built like a stuffed vacuum bag in high school. <laughs> now the bitch look like goddamn. Yeah. You know. Women bossing up. So women so bodies. women's bossing up, but <laughs> just because they bossing up, they didn't boss up the vagina though. You can get that bossed up too. No, but they, a lot of them ain't bossing up the vagina. They just bossing up the body. So it's safe to say that there's a lot of bad bitches out here, right? Mm -hmm. We're banging bodies. Yes. And bad pussy. Oh, man. Oh. I'm just saying because you wasn't got your, you know, you get, wasn't got your body refurbished, but your your pussy still so you is like a, a nigga of, dropped a grenade in it. It's a lot well, of BBs. Like well, it's a lot of BBs with BBs and BP. Yes, it's a lot of bad bitches with banging bodies and bad pussy. That's bad. I know a lot of women feel like when they get their body done, it's new pussy. So. No, 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 no. The pussy's still the same. See, that, that's, that's what I, I was talking about. Do, that's I what guess. I was talking about. No, no, no. I you might be better to look at. I can't wait. You might be better to look at, but the pussy is the same. Mm. Just because they threw a little fat up in your hips and extended your ass out. If my and, love and, handles and, and are chop, gone, and this pussy is new. No, 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 no. Pussy ain't new. Pussy so, so, still so, old. So, so, if my love pussy handles old. are gone. Pussy old. I don't I'm give a like fuck. This here, that pussy's new. No, 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 fuck no, no. You, hey, pussy, pussy still like a nigga threw a grenade With a in wax? it. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? Pussy still like that. Ain't Boom. Ain't Boom. That's what I'm saying. Some women do. Some women do invest in vaginal. Plastic no, they not. First of all, let's keep it real. Most women is investing in the outside shell. Ass, titties, and belly. They not investing in the inside shell. A bitch will get her pinky toes done before the bitch get that vagina done. Because you know why? If that pinky toe curl up. Hold on. You know why? Because a nigga can see them pinky toes and them sandals. Right. A nigga can't know that that vagina ain't got no fucking bottom in it until he actually fall in the motherfucker. So... It, women love to dress the outsider. Let's be for real. You know what I mean? Bum bitches running around here with five thousand dollar bags. Could they love to dress the outsider? <laughs> you hear me? Then you get the, the, from the back room. Who? Uh, bitch got. Bitch got. Bitch got. Twenty thousand dollars in bags. Bitch always be on trips. Bitch a where? Oh, I'm in Bogota. Bitch, what you doing in Bogota? Oh, Living. I'm in Germany. Oh, I'm here. Oh, you go to the bitch crib. Bitch got a efficiency. And bitch got shit all over the floor. <laughs> bitch got a can of soup on the floor. Bitch don't never clean up. It's lit. She lit. She living a life. No, she's not. Sweet. She don't give, man. Listen, man. It, what, what, I'm saying, what's the difference if you rent a motherfucking official or you got a house? It's all the same. You still got somewhere to stay. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, what I'm saying is, is the. It, she's it's taking that, a journey. No, 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 no. It's not even about having a official. So but what I'm saying is, the bitch don't even clean the shit up. So it was all okay. about the outside shell. Okay. It's all about when y'all see me, I look like it's this. Come on. Oh, let's keep it real. Okay. Let's keep it real. Niggas, too. How many niggas you see the nigga? You might follow the nigga on the gram. You look at the nigga, you really think this nigga got something going on in life. Until he put the dick in you and he fucking you and then you realize two months later, this nigga ain't got shit. He's a bum. He's a fucking rump -a bum 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 rump -a bum <laughs> bum. Look, she like bums though. Look, and I she love some, him. Look, and she spoke some of my shit before. Look, yeah, she spoke some of my medical we was shit. Way too look, strong. She spoke don't some of my medical Gilly. shit before she, before we look. She fucking. Say, she shrimp fried don't rice. Smoke with Gilly. Damn, I'm a you little high yeah, he, he here. Needed, you know, Let's go. Yo. I, I I lace that shit too. Like I only went. Like, like, you know, you smoke laces. <laughs> yeah, I lace that like, shit. Like you, you, you didn't. He <laughs> smoked laces. I put he smoked rock. He smoked. I put a little sprinkle, baby. Every time he rolling up. Every time he rolling up. Drop the little sprinkle, baby, on that shit. When he passed you that and you lit that up, I put a little. No, don't listen. I put a little Bill Cosby on that shit. Just this will play the my mind. When he when you lit that up, listen. 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 I want to rock right now. Mm -hmm. I, you didn't even think you had R&Bs, rocks in the bag laced up in that joint. R&Bs. You had rocks in the bag. He sprinkled rocks on his shit. He Cold smoked, more than he smoked Rambos. Gotta figure this he means. loves smoking These Rambos and Turbos. These are celebrities. They at Hollywood parties. Yeah, he, he love that shit. They he snort. No, no, no. He like hard. He don't like soft. He smoke hard. He don't smoke no, soft. No, that's oh, oh, wait. Who knows? So you, you throw hard. 
Gil, you ain't never throw no hard in your motherfucking blunts. <laughs> so you just go. So you just gonna put me on some Ram Squad why shit. Why would you? <laughs> I don't care what it's on. You so smoke hard. You, so you why would you? Ask Ram squad he shit. smoke hard, not soft. Don't put soft. Oh, fuck like who swear? He put rocks. In, like you. Like that was rocks in there. Oh, so so hold on. So we gonna we gonna start why the show off like this today. I'm just right? saying you smoke hard. I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't mess with soft. You mess with hard. So, so if you gonna go, you gonna go all the way. I respect so, it because you extremist. You extreme boy. So we gonna start the show off like this today. Listen, man. I'm just saying because. If we want, if we want to crack. start the show off like this, we can get right. Why you think he's been slim his whole life? Saying to him, you smoke crack. For people at home Why don't you know what hard is. Like Young boys, Gil like them R and B's and rocks in the back. Oh <laughs> fuck God. you, me. Why? Why you think he's been slim that's, his whole that's life? Some wild Cause I work shit. the fuck out. No, listen. I'm gonna just I'm say this. I'm active. I'm gonna just say this. Fuck you, mean. He decorated your blunt. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> he put some decorations on your blunt. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker's a rock climber. You ain't digging. That nigga, he's a mount. He's a rock climber. You smoked the Rambo today. How you feel, girl? You smoked the Rambo. Watch. You smoked the Rambo. First blood. Fuck is mad with you. You, you got, he got you fucked up like he don't smoke hard. That nigga been smoking hard since back in the day. We were 17. He was 17. He smoked his first hard. Oh, hey, Mike. Listen, to listen, me. listen, listen. Oh, this hey, is, crazy Mike. This is the last place I was. Listen, Please hold me Mike. down. Don't hashtag crazy me. Mike. Crazy Mike. I'll never forget. We walking oh down the corner. God. Crazy Mike. said, young buck here, man. You don't know nothing about this killer. Leave crazy Mike. Crazy go. Mike Next gave him his first Rambo. He smoked a Rambo from Crazy Wallow, Mike stop. and he ain't been right since. He been, he been, he, he, he like them, hey, listen, listen, them hard you, blunts. You, since you want to you put smut on my name? Nigga. I just put it out there. I'm just saying. I ain't you want to put smut on my name? Like I ain't that. no smut. That's real. Nigga, you okay. like hard. Okay. <laughs> nigga smoke hard. Let's tell the truth These about you. Wild. Let's tell the truth about you. Him and his woman go on vacation. Yeah. He booked the flights. They get to the airport. He tell his woman, "I checked this in already. We good. We straight. Put the luggage on." The fuck, what joint did you talking about? They walk up to the gate. That's what you supposed to do. Walk wait, up to wait, the gate. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> they walk up to the gate. They sitting there. They waiting to board the plane. They say, "All the first class customers, you know, come on." He hand his woman a ticket. He said, go ahead, baby, go ahead, board the plane. She said, come on, what you waiting on? No, just go ahead, you know what I mean? I don't... Just go ahead. She confused, she like, what the fuck you mean, go ahead? She walk on the plane, she sit down, she in first class. Here come Wilo. He get on the plane. He oh, walk right past his woman. All right. She like, where you going? He like, no, I'm in coach. She like, you booked me a first class ticket and you a coach ticket. She like to fly. So sweet. No, that's some dumb shit. She like to fly first you class. You supposed to sit with your fucking woman. <laughs> <laughs> she was salty. That no, was I was sweet. like, damn. Listen, cuz think about affordable. this. Hold up. Now think about this. Think about this. He now you know. Me. Now you know. Now you know this. This one thing about me. <laughs> this one thing about me. The whole cuz. First of all, we gonna be sitting yeah. apart for a couple hours. What the fuck? We be we be together all the time. What the fuck? Oh, baby, I want you to sit with me. You can sit with fat white boy Bill right there. He's cool. Now you're making it <laughs> you're weird. You're first class. He, he's a business class. You're cool. He's a business guy. He got his briefcase. Oh, you can talk to him. I'm going to be right here back here chilling. Dog, the Why nigga, do it make any fucking the nigga sense? Talk about that the was first, only one time. Talk about the first class flights was 900 The coach tickets was 119 I say $800. Oh. Uh, dog, you that fucking cheap that you won't even sit next to your woman on let, the plane? Let bro? me let, let the record reflect. Who the fuck does that? I Who that go on vacation? Sense. Hold on. B Rock don't even talk. B Rock, mm -hmm. would you ever go on vacation with your woman and not sit next to your woman on the plane? To save 800 You got to sit next to your woman no, no, on no. the plane. No, no. He talking about, I got an unbelievable deal. She was salty as shit. But let me explain something to you. This nigga here, the, they said first class. He ended up taking say, go ahead, baby. He didn't want to tell her that if he was sitting If you're not getting a coach. hand job on a plane, there's no point to sit with the bitch. Let me say that. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't, I'm in the Mile High Club. That's all I'm going to say. But that's another story. <laughs> that's for another episode. But I will say this. Think about this. <laughs> now, you know, I got investments. I own equity in a lot of companies and a lot of stuff that I do. Now, I just thought that that was a smart move. She didn't think it was. I don't know why. You know, women, women logic. Why would you? Why would you sitting? 
Babe. First of all, first of all, was, was she like, pissed? First of all, yeah. it was like a three hour flight. <laughs> first of all, it was like a three hour flight, a little over three hours, right? You know, you want to be next to your nigga. <laughs> you want to lay on your nigga when you get sleepy. I didn't, I didn't understand You're it was cool. a problem because, you, because listen, let me explain something to you. When it, when it, when it's, <laughs> I don't think that was a, uh, I don't, I didn't think that was a smart move, wasn't a tight move because I'm registered man. Like, I stepped to that fucking register when I want my woman. So it's not no big deal. Like, it's like I was being tight or something. I just thought was. You had to sit alone for three hours. No, I think it was a business move. I just thought I was like, damn, it's saving. A that's some cheap move. ass shit. Yeah, ain't that's it? crazy. Would yeah, you feel I some type of way? Yes, I would have been upset. But I asked her. I said, why would you upset? Because she if normally. They put us both in coach, dummy. But it's not no money thing, though. No. See, see, you know that, and I know that. If we're going to say no 800, let's but, say 1600. But, um, Oh, but what I'm saying is with Corona shit going on like this, you why would you even risk yourself being all the way in the back? Now he of the didn't plane took it to Corona. Come in, on, in now. the middle of the mix when you you got money, you ain't nobody like was you, really you on being, the seats that I was yeah, on. You fuck it was this shit was packed up. Nigga. But I'm gonna say this though: at the end of the day, I'm registered man. I stepped to that fucking register wherever like we at. that. So it ain't about nothing. Energy. Let me show you something, man. Talk fucking heavy. See this nigga? Show him. What, what you got? My, this right here? What's I that? To the Man, that little ass dot with rubber bands. I step to the motherfucker. Well, ain't no meat in the ain't no meat in the ain't no meat in the taco. I step to the. I don't have to prove myself. Y'all step to the register. Open it up. See if there's any meat in the taco. I step to that fucking register. Oh no! Open it up. Don't put it back. You pull a knot out this big and talk heavy to a nigga like me. You pull out a knot this big. Let me see the knot. Pull your knot out. Let me just hold it. Where's pop? You need him. Pull your knot out. Finger fuck my money. Why would you pull that little ass knot? This ain't nothing. I step to that fucking register. But if you gonna pull it out, pull it out, nigga. This a life changer right here. I changed my fuck. Fuck I changed out. fucking lives. Fuck you talking about 20, 40, Yeah, they 60. faking. Fuck I pull that motherfucking knot out. I pull my faking. motherfucking knot out 61. Yeah. I keep a motherfucking knot on me. Fuck I change lives. I change a motherfucking I'm life with this. Listen, when she, no, don't pull that knot out. Don't pull that shit out. She made 1100 last night on a post. <laughs> Listen, don't do it. Yeah, only fans. Only fans with her feet out. She had her feet. She, made she had her feet and jelly and all the fans. She can't find it. Look. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. she that pulled the little. Don't disrespect my bank, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Don't disrespect my bank, bro. Fuck is that with y'all? You got 40 more dollars. You see this shit right here? Me. This motherfucker changed lives. This shit can take me around the world. You see, see this motherfucker not. Take the rubber band uh, off. For what? He ain't got no meat, he ain't got no meat in that taco. My money wrestling right pussy. now. The rubber band is for the rest. And let me just say something yeah, to you. It looks let me say something. No, yeah, no, no, the fuck yeah, it don't. Yes, it do. Let me say something to y'all that had something to say you about me rocking the rubber band. Life, it looks corny. Let me, let, no, fuck been, that. Hey, no, you no. can't do an Instagram video with that shit. But hold on. Women been. You can't. Hold on, wait. I don't give a fuck what they Women been telling him that his whole life. What? What you just said. They ain't never tell me it looks small. You fucking lying. It looks small. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> but let me tell you motherfuckers out there about Listen, something. All I got to say something. That's a small ass No, 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 no the that. fuck we it ain't. We laugh at you when you put bro. that on the timeline. Let, let, let me say you something right now. You see why this rubber band right here? For, let me educate for you. No, no. Let me educate you, young motherfuckers. All the old heads know what it's about. Alone. This for all my old heads that died in the street. You know how many motherfuckers died with a knot in their pocket with a rubber band on it? That didn't make it. That didn't make it out the fucking hood. I do this for the OGs. This was some OG shit back in the day. Nigga, everybody put rubber bands on their money. No, the old heads did it back in the day. That's why I'm keeping that fucking memory alive. That's why I keep it knot in my motherfucking with some rubber bands laced up with some you rubber bands it. in my you, pocket. Y'all motherfuckers don't respect oh yesterday. God. I do. We got it. Fuck is mad with y'all. He wear we rubber bands around the low ass knot for the OGs. Yeah, you a fucking hater. Out there, man. Let's get scary. into our second sponsor, New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka was born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka. This Real commitment to excellence enabled. New Amsterdam to produce vodka of superb taste and unparalleled smoothness. New Amsterdam vodka is premium, 80 proof vodka made from some of the finest quality grains from America's heartland. New Amsterdam vodka is five times distilled and filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. You already know. Make sure y'all scoop y'all up some New Amsterdam vodka, the official vodka for Barstool Sports. Shout out to the NAQ. My wife, the New Amsterdam queen, she loves making cocktails with this. Yes, she do. Yes, she do, don't she? And we got a, we, you know, we sponsored by New Amsterdam, so we got a lot of this at home. So when I throw a cookout soon, just know we'll be New Amsterdam in it. Let me say something real quick. I and see and see, it's a sport to this. Shout out to all the niggas that's holding it down for the dudes that ain't here no more for back in the day. When you when you really about this rubber band life, you see it's an art to that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wham. Look at that. Wham. 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 
Look at that. Look, look. That's we how you know you got a bank. Look, this is strong rubber First band. Of all, can hold dog, it. If you ain't no meat in that taco, dog, stop it pulling out about meat. Stay close about, you keep talking about meat. The rubber band what is the holding clothes. Let me find out you come. I'm coming out. You keep talking about meat. What the hell is you on to? Trying to go to a meat party. This. Hey, listen. Come on, man. It's a rule right there. So. Yesterday, I'm sitting at the crib, and uh, my phone is just going crazy, 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 nonstop, 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 917 number, nonstop. I pick up, and uh, I'm like, yo, what's up? They say, yo, what's up, Gilly, man? I got a proposition for you, Gilly, in X, Y, and Z. So I say, who this? He say, it's six. I'm like, six, nine? First of all, I don't even know how the nigga got my number. So that was kind of, you know. Takashi called you? Yes, that was kind of like, <laughs> shit threw me the fuck off, like. So automatically, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I you got, sound like a groupie. I got. Takashi you sound like a fucking. You sound like I, I, no. I got a, I you got sound a, like a groupie. I got a what little nervous because I'm shit? like. Uh, keep acting like you don't know deal with the people. Why the fuck would? What did he say? And uh, basically, he gave me a proposition. He offered me however much money I wanted. To do a one-on-one -on -one interview, sit down with him and interview him. Rat Fest 2020. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Let me get What the fuck? And uh He knew Gil told on me back in the day. Wow. You know I'm a journalist now. You were definitely a media. You know, I'm a media guy now. You so, are a media. What the fuck? You know, I listened to what he was saying and you know, you know, I kind of thought I was on a federal you know, recorded lines. So Did it feel like that. It was definitely it? felt like wow, that. You know that's what I mean? crazy, uncomfortable. But uh, that's what that's you how know, it is. At the end of the day, it's like, what's a nigga motive, man? I don't know. That's crazy. What, what's a nigga trying to get out of this, man? I don't know. What's up with you? How you been? You know, I mean, get the fuck out of here if I you? slap the shit out you, man. Hey, y'all better stop fucking playing me if I slap the shit out y'all. No, I'm just making sure you are. It's like, what's a what's a nigga motive? What's a nigga trying to get out of this? Like, I, 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 I all, got your number. I all right. He that that my was number. that. What was the scariest shit about I don't it? Even understand you feel that what I'm saying? Part. And it's like, what I'm gonna interview you about? I already know you told. I already know the niggas that you told on. I already know the whole situation. Your whole situation is already out there. What I'm gonna interview you about? Well, I'm gonna interview you. I'm gonna interview you. Sit there and be like, you a fucking rat, dog. Dog, you you a fucking rat. You 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 jumped in these streets. You was on some sucker shit. You you get caught up and you tell on some niggas. You come home. You try to play the sympathy role. Oh, they fucked my baby mom. They did that. They did that. Now you right back out here doing the same dumb ass shit Trolling. you was doing before you went to jail. You run around here talking about you smoking on niggas' cousins. Dead people. You, rest in peace to Nooski. Yeah, rest in peace You run to around Nooski. here talking about you smoking on niggas' cousins and you like. Filth. What, Filthy. Why the fuck I want to interview you? It ain't nothing I can tell you or say to you in the interview that you don't already know and ain't already accepted. How you get your number though? I don't fucking know. That was scary. That shit threw me off, man. <coughs> you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, just go ahead and be the rat, man. Wow. Just, just go ahead, man, and be Stuart Little, man. Be Master Splinter, man. You accepted that shit, man. Go ahead and be motherfucking, not Tom, but Jerry. Jerry was the little fucking rat, right? I believe so. Right, be Jerry, man. 
Was he? I don't know. I don't want no parts of that shit, man. I, I'm cool. I'm good. I don't want no parts of that shit. We don't want none of that action over here, million dollars worth of game. No matter how much money you got. No, I don't give a fuck about the million dollars, five, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Not me. I'm a nigga that believe you stand on what the fuck you do. Me and Wallow was out here robbing niggas. At one time. I'm 20, he's 17. We out here, we in a mix. We taking shit down. We bucking niggas. This nigga got caught, man, at 17 years old, man. This nigga did 20 years, man. This nigga could have, it could have been, this nigga had two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight different niggas. He done took money with he could have told on. Mm -hmm. But this nigga stood what he did, man. He went up there with killers and gorillas, man, at 17 years old. Probably scared to death. I was. But he stood what he did, man. You stand what the fuck you do out here. Tell him I did my year. Yeah, yeah, she did a Tell year too. Tell my year, nigga. They locked up for 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 um, you know, some minor prostitution shit. Nigga was pimping her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Stop that shit. Twenty one stood tall. They but she did a year twice. in prison, huh? Didn't think twice. Like, you stood tall, right? Real, 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 real tall. And you and Takashi got this something in common. Y'all both got the same kind of hair. Look me up. No, besides the rat and shit. I just feel like, yo, the troll and shit, it's like, how are we, like, it's like the fact no. that niggas even look at that shit, how do y'all even look at that, like, and then it's like, when you go at niggas like Lil Durk, Lil Durk call us up the neighborhood hero, niggas love Lil Durk, like, people feel like, you know, they feel like they know Lucy because he shout his name all the time, nobody's with that, we don't gotta be it's for Chicago like, to be, feel that that's disrespectful, that's foul, we got dead cousins, and you let, got dead cousins. And let like, me just say this, this fucked up for all y'all followers and, 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 you know what's fucked up? Is that when he came home, he played the sympathy role, and a lot of y'all goofy niggas yes, bought into did. that shit. Yes, y'all did. A lot of y'all goofy ass yes, niggas. Did. I'm talking to you. Yes, if you was did. one of them goofy ass niggas that bought into that shit, yeah, but they did he for did his baby dirty, mom. You know, the yeah, they what did do, do it, dirty. Yeah. But now he running around here doing the same goofy shit. What the fuck y'all going to say now? With security. And just to let y'all know. Just to let y'all know that, oh, Gilly ain't, I ain't cloud chasing, I ain't, where, where the motherfucker, where the phone at, man? Hold on. Hold on. Just so y'all know. What's this? Is yours? No, that ain't mine. Hello? Yeah, what's going on? What's happening? Yo, Gilly, look, I got I got this proposal and it's up to you if, if you want to do it or not. Who? We gonna s Who this? This is me six. A proposal with what? It's a proposal like this. I, I feel like you got, you know, people look at you, you know, as, as a street dude and people respect you in, in, in the street way where a lot of people can't, like, fit your shoes in a point where it asks me the questions that the street people want to know. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, the street people want to know what happened, how it happened, what's right, like, what's what what's right and what's not. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, those questions, like, no sense of, like, like what happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people going to say, yo, yeah, you did this, you did that, but it still don't justify. And I feel like at the end of the day, um, I thought about you and I'm like, yo, um, it was out of you or Joe, and I'm like, Gilly going to ask the questions that, you know, the streets really want to know, and the streets really want to hear, and all the details, because, you know, I haven't sat down with nobody and said nothing yet um, of the details of the case and all of the shit that happened. So, it's up to you. I'll just call and see if you wanted to do it. If not, it's completely understandable, but I think this is going to be an uh, interview that's going to be plastered all around the world, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I thought about you, and I was like, let me see if you want to do it. I can't. I mean, that ain't, you know, that ain't really, you know, I don't really condone what you did, young. You know I don't what condone I mean? I don't, what you, you did. Not, not, but, but this is why, this is why if you sat down, I think the streets will really appreciate that you, you, you tell me how you feel to my face. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tell me how you feel to my face and be like, yo, as a street dude, 
I don't condone it. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I think that'd be a, a thing where people actually go on, you know, say, you know what? Gilly, 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 you know, walked in and, and, and said what he had to say and, and asked all the questions that the hood feels like Takashi 69 is getting away with snitches. Takashi 69 is out here selling millions of records, right? Still got a career. And what I just want to let y'all know at this point right now, I'm I'm fucked up because I'm still wondering how the fuck did yeah. this nigga get my number? Yeah. Like, how, like. He feels like he his snitching is justifiable. You know what I'm trying to say? I think this is a perfect one-on-one -on -one conversation. Probably, yo, get no funny shit. I met you one time in Philadelphia. You seen my growth. This is probably the biggest thing that you gonna ever touch, brother. Like I'm telling you, what? like this is gonna be everywhere. Like I'm talking about Fox, have everywhere. This like, you know what I'm crazy. saying? One on one, chair to chair, two cameras, mic'd up. We let it all out. Ain't no, ain't no what? sensor. Like yo, you know hear I me? Mean? Like no sensor. I, there's nothing that you can't ask me, girl. Yeah, I heard you. No, yo, Gilly, <laughs> put it like this. Look at all the Joe Buttons, right? Look at the Axe, look at the Waynos, look at all of these niggas, they ain't doing shit, right? You the first nigga I sit down with since, po like, I don't sit down with niggas, I don't, do I haven't done an interview yet, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody's waiting on that interview, and it's a one-on-one, Takashi 69 Barbara Walters, Kid, right there, one-on-one, -on -one, no censor, don't hold back, nigga. Like, you know me, nigga, I met you, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying, don't hold back. Yo, I don't condone what you did. It's not justifiable. It's not this, that, and the third. Gangster. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Nigga I respect to you. You can't vouch for no rat shit. It, it is what it is. Your respect for me, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, this is what the people want. You got to give them what they want. You, 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 Who wants you, it? You, you, you a voice of the streets right now. You know what I'm saying? So, Just for the record, I know I'm the voice of the streets. You ain't got to tell me that. I've been a voice of the streets for 20 plus years. Second record, the biggest thing I ever did in my life was the birth of my kids. Shout out to Dayana. Shout out to Kayed. Shout out to Devin. Shout out to Talib. Shout out to Nala. That was the biggest things I ever did in my life. Not interview on a fucking rat. Not interview when a nigga who jumped out here head first. Like he was cut from that cloth and wasn't cut from that cloth. Nigga won 100% cotton. Nigga was rayon. Nigga was some cheap ass silk. Wasn't Egyptian cotton. So the biggest thing I ever did in my life was the birth of my kids, my nigga. Just for the record. I just wanted to play that shit just so y'all could see what it. The ain't, fuck? ain't no capping going on with my, but we rightfully declined over here a million dollars worth of game. We cool. And uh, he mentioned two niggas. Uh, let me just say this: can't nobody that's out of pocket say anything about people that's in pocket. Don't never mistake or take it any way, because you know Gil and Joe might have had words, but we ain't on that nut shit. Right. Joe, one thing about Joe, Joe is Joe. Joe do his thing, we all know who Joe is. Joe Buttons, as I would say. Joe is a brother of ours. We don't look at people like that. It ain't no beef, it ain't no malice. Then he said, Wayne, no, my brother. Shout out to both of them niggas. Because I'm not gonna let nobody that's out of pocket say something about people that's, that's pushing the culture forward in any type of fucking way. Not on my watch, my man. So I don't know what, what him even mentioning them come up about them dudes is doing some great things out here. Keep that's doing your things, do. brother. They we know that divide and conquer. Link up. Divide and conquer mentioning yeah. niggas' names. We ain't with that. Yeah. That's oh, he shit. just had, they just had a little no, back and forth. So let me shit. let me feed off yeah, that. That, that, that nigga shit. think he's smarter than everybody. Niggas. He think he's smarter than everybody. But, 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 but that's how you end up in that fucked up situation. You know, at the end of the day, thinking you smart. That's how you played yourself. At the end of the day, you know the the one thing about me is when you dealing with. A nigga like that, you never show him your, you, you know, you never. I didn't have to get on the phone and show a nigga how I truly feel about the nigga, because I'm trying to see what it is you trying to, what is it you trying to, you feel me? Because 
A old Gilly would have got right on the phone. What the fuck you want? You bitch ass nigga, you fucking rat. You fuck. But the older Gilly is like, let me see what this nigga's trying to get accomplished. Some nice shit. You trying to get get let on me, the platform let me, let me, let me just of some solid motherfuckers. See, see what a nigga say some, to get and say something about some solid other yeah. solid motherfuckers that try That's to put muscle really on niggas' jacket. You feel that what I'm cool, saying? Man. Let me That's let me crazy. let me let me let me let me let me see what a nigga where a nigga going at with this shit to see if a nigga. That's crazy. And it's just like, nah, bro. It's like my nigga. Even though I I'm a journalist, I do media now. I sitting down interviewing you is just not something that i'm interested in it ain't even like it could put no smut on my name it ain't even like because it's an interview but just me as a man yeah you as a it's just like ah i don't I don't have it in me. He's asking. He asking. He's it. saying. This is what he's saying on the phone, whether you know it at home or not. He's I saying, "Yo, you. I need you because you a street nigga to tell them that it was right why I did what I did. No, I want you that. to that justify. No, he, no, I want no, you to ain't saying that. What he want to do? I already see one thing about me. He said, "What's uh, right and no, wrong?" No, no, no. He want to get with one of these top niggas that's looked at and respected, and he wanted to get on my platform and. He was going to do all the same shit that he's doing now. He was going to accept the fact that he read it and that he told on some niggas and that he, you know, he was going to, he was going to accept all that. And then he was going to say, well, what about such and such? He did this. And what about this person? And what about this person? And then you like, you mess with Meek and did it, and you such and such, such, such a, a bunch of shit that ain't got nothing to do with no telling. No, it's just messy shit. Uh, and I don't deal with messy shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't deal with messy shit. We not here to talk about no other niggas. We not here to talk about what no other niggas did. We not here to, to uh, to, it's like you like a wounded female. You feel what I'm saying? It, you get caught every time you wrong, you wanna bring up some old shit that a nigga did three years ago to try to justify why the fuck you wrong today. But what about when you did, bitch, that ain't got nothing to do with what you did today. So at the end of the day, how did he have your number? That's the Mom. bottom line. I'm gonna keep it all the way. Put real. it out here. He's the fucking police. So what's going on with you? Well, I slapped the shit out you. That's Mom. what we want to know. That's what everybody at home want to know. What we know. All right. We know. Why he called you? Directly. I know. I know why he called you. I don't even have your number. Oh no, it's a bunch of niggas in New York got my number. No, no, no. Your name is in the directory. Something ain't my name right. in the directory. You're the rat directory. We told on me, nigga. <laughs> when you got me, I right. got you there. Oh yeah, we got her. We already got some people on Gil. Here, here you go, call him. Oh, you want to get into our next sponsor if I slap this shit out you? you ain't gonna do that. Listen, let me say, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say Put that sweat on your day. Damn, look how I grab, look how I grab you like a little boy. I grab you like a little boy. I ain't grab your ass. I ain't, I ain't come at you. Now, now, we was in jail. I'm not saying I would have done that. Takashi just but I'm just saying, I just gripped you down like a little boy. Sit your dumb ass down. Like a little kid. You want somebody to grab your cheeks. You spicy, man. Why you going to grab right here, dog? I, I grabbed your cheeks. Out of all the places Did I grab you your cheeks? Yes. No, I didn't. I grabbed your ass. Well, you sat down real quick for somebody to be grabbing your cheeks. You just missed the biggest opportunity no, of your life, to, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean. You, you had to protect yeah, the cheeks. Yeah, yeah. You just <laughs> missed the biggest opportunity the of your protector. life, nigga. The cheek protector coming soon. How to protect your cheeks in jail you the and on the streets by Gilly. Life. Listen, man. What, what you thing, wanted me to interview him so I could be like, hold on. You no, need, she, need she a dick suck before you go to. She wanted to take a picture with him. for you. You didn't go ahead and take it. She went in the groupie mode. Six nine. Oh my God. She went in the whole back. Plot twist. You, that white girl next came episode out. Right here. They, they look at look at he's, he's something else. One thing about Manscaped is this. It's always been the moments where you get them nicks and the places that you really get a nicks. I even one time I was screaming and I was in the shower. I nicked my ball. I was I was <laughs> cleaning him up. I had to clean him up. And uh using the regular standard razor, played myself. But my life changed when the lawnmower 3.0 came into my life. Manscaped. And uh Things just got better for me. It got smoother. It got simpler. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I recommend that you do what I do. Mm -hmm. Switch your game up to Manscaped. You know, a lot of women like when you clean down there, when you got your lawn taken care of, when you met, you got a manicured lawn, as they would say. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how to landscape your stuff. That's why what I need you to do is to go to Landscape. I mean, Manscaped. I see, I see, I see Landscape. You like that. You go to Landscape. Or, <laughs> no, Manscaped, where you can get Landscape your stuff. Manscaped.com back and slash.
Well, you can use the code game instead of backslash. Just use code game. Don't use backslash. Go in there, manscaped.com. Use code game. Get 20% off or free shipping with the code million. The code million, not code game. Use code million at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. You ever had a conversation with you? They'd be like, hey, thanks, man. Because my, my balls thank me. But once again, use code million. Use code million at manscaped.com. Manscaped.com. Yeah. Cold million. Let's get into a million dollars worth of game, right? So this girl in my DM, right? She say, Gilly, tell me if I'm wrong. My friend of 25 years said I'm jealous of her relationship and her new boo. Says we can't be friends because I'm a hater. She start receiving messages from Anthony about three years ago. He was in prison. Oh, classic. He was in prison for bank robbery, kidnapping, and some other shit. He been in prison since 1999. That's not long. How long? Is it? I mean, that's not long, nigga. That's 1999. Right. Oh yeah, man. But you know, my time is a little different the way I see time. But go ahead. Okay, he gets out <laughs> six months later. She comes home, and his homie who got out needs a place to stay, so he moves him in. I told her, girl, that's his boy from prison. <laughs> She said, what? Why you say that? I said, who in the fuck does n damn near 20 years gets out to only bring home another nigga who was his cellmate for five years? Right. Oh. And they drop her off at work. She works from seven at night to seven in the morning. But furthermore, she found a towel with, with what she thought was snot and she started laughing. And he started laughing, saying, baby, I couldn't help myself. I was missing you. Now he rubbed one off in the towel. And she said, boy, you know that nut rag from you and your man. And she blocked me and is telling friends I'm jealous. Gil, what you think? Bitch, mind your business. If they over there happy in that uh, polygamy. Poly that's not niggas. No, when they no, go no, to work, no, no, they no, no, fuck no. each other. Oh my, oh my wrong, god, she shit. crazy. It works. No, you gotta She stop happy. Me. She was lonely. That's why Anthony got in. Who the fuck meets a nigga from jail and really talks to him from jail writing them and shit? A lonely big bitch. She probably big and lonely. Oh, and Wallow had a Wallow had a through on his ride. I'm oh sure. man, he had a all few, that poetry that nigga used to write. Look at him. You lonely Look like he writes you four pages of poetry. It's a scam, bitch. Hey. When they write you from jail, don't believe none of that hey. shit. Especially hey. little smooth hey. niggas, positive hey. oh, niggas like hey, that. Hey, listen, he yeah. had a he had a whole collection of little boats coming up to see him. Little, like, like, little, like, busy, I bet. little like, chubby like, bitches wobbling. Like, hey, we, wrong with hey, it. we look and hey, listen. He'll be in the visiting room. He'll be in the visiting room. He'll be in the visiting room, really loving on a two year this month. And she don't know. She she it's looking real, at lying on me. Listen, listen, like listen, lying. listen, listen. Let me break it down. What you don't gotta understand is niggas in jail be at they all time glow. They ain't got no bad shit to put in their body. They I so she built like a stuffed vacuum bag. She this big. He don't give fuck what she built like. This bitch built like a chicken nugget. You feel me? He don't give a fuck because the bitch lacing his books. You feel what I'm saying? The bitch keep him eating good. So, so she go up him. there. She glaze in the wallow eyes. This bitch in love in the fucking on the dance floor. She like this. Wallow, that's terrible. He lying on me. Wallow standing. Up, he lying listen, on me. Wallow standing all over here. Hold on, cuz. Yeah, baby. I'm just, I'm just happy as shit you can't <laughs> I'm telling I'm telling I'll be sitting there like this. I never was on the dance yes, floor like that. I took rides. Listen. The dance floor at the visit? Listen, yes. Yeah, the visit room. He I, lying listen, on me. Listen, I oh used to take, God. listen, I used to take rides with Stop these with these fucking boots. Oh, I ah uh, yeah, me and yeah, he yeah, he definitely you had a you had a few fucking yachts come see you. And yachts, you, and that's you, so mean. He lying on me. I'm, I'm just saying. They he probably was so nice to him and brought him hot food they, up Oh, there. they definitely did. <laughs> they <laughs> laced that nigga. This they nigga lying on me, man. Lying, dog. He lying on me. Scumbag. On, dog. You, know you, had, you know you had a couple big bitches because you, you know, they fall for that shit. Gil lying on me. Yeah, you know I mean? I'm just saying he lying on me. You ain't had a 63-year-old bitch. Everybody plays a part. Yo, you fucking, you lying, cuz. Cause. Cause. No cause why you lying? No, when he got out, the bitch was sixty three. You lying? But when he met her, the she bitch was, was no. The when he met no. The when he met her, the bitch was like fifty one or something. 
<laughs> this bitch did a whole nine years this with this nigga. This nigga lying like a motherfucker. So do you she even don't look talk sick. to no, these no, no, women no, no. now? No, fuck lying. no. no lying. That's what I'm telling you. They will not stay to, with you. First of all, if, you, if a nigga this meet you, if a nigga book you Belinda, in. Belinda, no, he's no. not going to call you when he gets out. This because, nigga lying Okay, let me just say this. If a nigga book you. smile on my jacket. If a nigga can book you from in jail. Yes, exactly. What type of when he get What's home? What the fuck you? do that say for you? Like, but see, it's women like, that bitch, get married like that. Like, all right, I'm home now, bitch. Our reality kicking when I'm home, bitch. I got you. I was in jail. I, don't, I mean, you know, hold the nigga down Good in jail. Him. But goddamn it, when he come home, he's not going to fucking do the stuff he said in them long ass letters, especially niggas like that. All right, but hold on. Let's get back to a million dollars worth of game. So first of all, right, I think you're exactly right for giving your girlfriend the information and not holding back. Who the fuck get out of jail, come home to some pussy <laughs> to say, oh, my homie, my cellmate getting out of jail now, he coming home, oh, moving with us. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, nigga? You should have said, wait, moving with us? Bitch, y'all didn't just spend enough time together when y'all was locked the fuck up? That ain't just right. Just like you, that's why you agree. Huh? Y- y'all didn't spend Sorry enough time together. When y'all would, when y'all just did them 15 years together, y- that wasn't enough time for you. And you said, this nigga got to get out. That he coming home to you. Uh-huh. Oh, no, both of you niggas got to get the fuck out. <laughs> both of you niggas got to roll. All right, let me tell you something. You ain't got to get shot to know it's gunfire, bitch. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is hear it and see the smoke. Come you see early. the fucking smoke. Uber home. Bitch, you didn't he didn't say, Oh, I'm letting my son move the fuck in. I'm I'm letting my old Sally. He can Nigga, what? Uber. Like Uber home. Early. Wallow would have did some shit like that. Yeah, I'm just going I'm just gonna come home and get a spot with my old Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to throw me in that shit? Exactly. He went through smut on my jacket. I ain't got no spicy in general, so it just goes. What the fuck you mean? But it's spicy. like, it's like. Hold the fuck up. She Yo, to, y'all just was. I'm spicy in y'all general. Y'all just was walking the track. Y'all just was in a cell that was this big together forever. Y'all just, you know, you just chi would up him. 21,000 <laughs> chi chis Y'all niggas didn't spend enough time together. You came this home and y'all niggas roller coaster, moved in. Just, oh, no, me, me. Wait, cuz do you think, man? Between that and the Rambo, I'm like <laughs> ready to wrap it up. So at the end of the day, I commend you. Rambo today. I think I think if you got a true friend, you always supposed to be able to tell them how you feel. No, Gilly, not like that. Somebody in love and been in a relationship for years with this guy and they banking everything on this working to the point that they're like, yeah, your friend can come home and stay with us for a minute, babe, because I believe in both of y'all mixtapes. No, don't call me and be like, oh, well, bitch, why they women, gay. Oh, let me ask Watch you your approach, bitch. Why no, women no, no, no. Okay, Bring okay, it to okay, me with love okay, and light, okay, bitch, so okay. I can receive it, Okay, so what, about, so what about when Wallow came home and he like, Yo, cuz, yeah, I met this, yeah, I met this shorty, yeah, she nice, man, I'm, let me see her, man, what she, <laughs> I ain't supposed to tell him, I'm supposed to be like, no, he, he's How feeling. you gonna say it? How would you say it? Cuz, just the camera I'm in? Yeah. She's a smutty butty. <laughs> That's what, see what I'm saying? Don't do it, cuz. See what I'm saying? Fucker and ducker. See what I mean? This is what I told him. Ejaculate and evacuate. So guess what though? If he now, already got feelings for her, now down, he's feeling uncomfortable. Lay her down, I'm gonna spray say, her down, do but nigga don't that? stay around. No, 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 when he no, no, tells no, no, you no, stuff, where y'all- She slid some shit in. No, she slid some shit in that gotta be addressed. Cause motherfucker, a lot of women say this. You said, yeah, I, be, we, I believe in y'all mixtapes. Why are y'all always shooting at the rappers with the mixtape? What, what is it with women with that? Because every nigga has a mixtape. <sighs> That's it. Well, what's the, like, what's the, nigga can't go after his dreams? <laughs> like, out of, out of every mixtape. All right, say the nigga name right now you want to tell you him to stop rapping. Rap. Sit tight. There's so many of well, y'all. Okay, well, tell some niggas that need to stop rapping. Say their names right now. Fuck it. <laughs> no, you can't do this. Don't yeah, do say, that. No, no, fuck you mean. No, don't put nobody out no, there like that. Fuck you mean. Stop playing, Low. We live our fucking truth. Don't do nobody Lo. out there. Low. Low. Yo, why are you look, shooting at them look, niggas? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Nah, you, I don't give a fuck what you shut talking about. Fuck that ass nigga. Come on. Who she can't even find. Give me a second. She, she can't even find nobody. Oh, oh my God. You supposed to have a couple niggas on why deck. Why supposed to have it queued up these bum ass niggas? Oh, shit. Damn. Do you be telling people this stuff? When they get aggressive because it turned into. What you mean? They be, thugging, they be thugging your DM? Yeah. It's turned. Listen. 
right here we got Killer OG, okay? Not only do I want to tell you to stop rapping, I want to tell you to seek medical attention, nigga. Let me get up close, all right? This shit you sent me is scary. So nobody's going to listen to it because it scares them, okay? It's scary. And when you talk about shooting uh, women in the feet, what? I can't understand why a hold woman up, hold would. Up. He, he talking about shoot women in the feet. Why a woman would listen to some shit like this. Oh, don't play that shit. Oh, you can't. Oh, well, Killer OG. Killer, Killer OG. Him right here. See him? Stop rapping. Stop rapping. Him with the gun. That's what I'm saying. They send me videos pointing guns just, at me. Just for the record, this is only how Mona feel. I have me, yeah. me and Wallow haven't heard the records. Kill OG. Troublemakers. You don't want no fucking trouble. I got some OG. more. You don't send me no videos pointing no gun at the <laughs> camera and telling me about your money and all that and then ask me my opinion. Because if I say no, then it's like, oh. I thought, y'all don't like, what type of music do the women like? I can't, I don't think you can I speak can't for speak, all. I can't speak for all women, but I know a lot of women like, like the drill shit, the hard shit, or the Atlanta sound and shit like that. A lot of people well, that's like what he was giving. That, a lot of people like a lot of that whole shit. You know what I mean? Like all the uh, get know, butt naked. Just the whole rap period. Just that independent. I fuck for a buck. Give me the money, nigga. Fuck you, Suki Hana. You know what I mean? Shit, make the sound. Your city girls, bitches like that. You know me. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Listen, what what's it? What's the top five things? Right, you heard the the top five craziest things you ever heard an OG say in the hood? Because this I, this just popped in my mind because Wallow was locked up and the story came up and a nigga <laughs> told Wallow some crazy shit. <laughs> Come on, tell the story. That's the story from the cell, though. That's that's something different. I, that might got to be. But one of the craziest things I heard an OG say in the neighborhood, right? Old here named Bumpy. 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 Not Bump D, but Bump D. He said, uh, him and the old here arguing. I used to love listening to the old heads back in the day. They get they get their liquor in them, drinking that Wild Albums Rose. They doing their little thing, smoking their reefer, got their slacks on, their shell toes, their kangos and shit. And, they, and I'd be sitting there as a kid and I was fascinated. Be, Motherfucker, fuck you, nigga. So the nigga said, listen, I'm, I ain't gonna keep arguing with you, motherfucker. And then he said, okay, you wanna keep talking? You about to have a conversation with my gun. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he pulled his shirt up a little bit, let the butt hang, he showed the piece. Nigga said, oh, oh, we gotta go there? We ain't gotta do all that. He said, well, shut the fuck up then, motherfucker. Are you gonna be talking to him? I'm like, whoa, the guns talk? Cause I'm young, I'm like, <laughs> guns have conversations too? <laughs> And I never forgot that shit, because I was like, old heads talk different back in the day. See, back in the day, you could threaten a nigga 10, 15, 20 times, and don't nobody get shot or killed. These days, you say, if you tell a nigga, all right, I'll be back, nigga going to put you, they going to finish you right, you're not coming back. Yeah. Back then, the threat game, the threat, that was a part of a nigga whole- The 52 fake out. That was a part of a nigga whole arsenal. Like now, a nigga walk around with a gun on him. Back then, you just had to have a better threat game than the other nigga. Yeah, true. Like, because I done seen niggas had threat off. You know how you had shootouts? Yeah. Nigga had a threat out. I niggas just to. be threatened. What motherfucker? I kill. Listen, listen, straight up. Because the old heads back in the day, the shit they say, <laughs> motherfucker, I kill you right now. Two times, motherfucker. N bitch, I kill you five times, motherfucker. I kill you ten. So they going back and forth <laughs> talking about how many times they kill a motherfucker. I can kill you and pissing shit on your grave, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you bitch. And the next day, you know, it, 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 it wasn't as. It's deeper today because tomorrow they be getting drunk together. Yeah. Post it up. Right. Yeah, motherfucker, what you crazy. What niggas did you hang around? No, I, old heads, I hang around old See, let me explain something to you. I respected my old heads. My old heads was different niggas. They, they, them the type of niggas that ordered meat, meatloaf platters and shit like that. They was different type of old heads. <laughs> niggas today, they, 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 they more, no, straight up. My old head, all he rocked was meatloaf platters. Cause listen, you know how motherfuckers see back in the day. No, straight up back in the day. Was that the that tried to take you in the cell? No, 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 no. He was on the street. No, this, this is the street. Like but what I'm saying is, let me play some to you. This is back in the day when they had the basement parties. What do the meatloaf? How did the meatloaf correlate in it? No, be a meatloaf platter. That's the type of shit these niggas. Oh, his order different. Too, but like when I got the taste. You ain't never had meatloaf platter. That's why I have had a meatloaf platter. Wait, they got them now? Where they got them at? They got the ve the vegetarian drones. Meatloaf at the soul food spot, hey, low. Hey. That's what I'm saying. Old head, but that's the old, niggas don't do that. So the old heads I deal with, them niggas wear show shell toes. I wanted to be like them niggas. Them rock knots with rubber bands. So th the shit I used to hear was was just on a whole nother level. But I'm gonna say something. One of the wildest things I heard. I want to say what I heard. Listen, uh, my whole. Let me give you one more time. I'm in the penitentiary. I'm walking with one of my step pop homeboys. Right, he a triple OG, OG in the third power to the fifth. Right, so we walking in the yard, kicking it. Yeah, OG, you got it. Cause I, when I first got in the penitentiary, I'm still young. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm a kid coming to penitentiary. I'm knee high to a butterfly. I was a young cat, so it was a lot of shit I wasn't up on. Green so, is a can of peas. Yeah, yes, yes, sir. Talk to me. Green, green is a pool table twice as twice as square. But you know, whatever. Fuck it. So <laughs> all that jail shit. He, all that shit. He still really got that jail shit. shit in him too. So I'm walking, I'd rather be alive for my deep, head, sheep for a thousand. My old head was a legend because shit. he was everybody respected him in jail, and and, and and he had he used to walk with a hook in his. Still, you know, he's still killing. He, he the type of nigga had motherfucking two picks and all that shit in jail when I play, you know, old his school. So we walking around the yard. So, you know, motherfuckers laying on the lawn. This is in the pink palace. This Laying Dallas. on the lawn with Sean? Yep, yep. Motherfuckers laying on the lawn all over, right? This must have been like a, a, a picnic type day. Niggas were just laid out, whatever. So I say some shit to the old because at this time, I'm young. So I don't know that you pulled to mind your business by all motherfucking calls in the penitentiary. You don't even pull to speak on certain shit because it ain't your business. And a motherfucker open your head to the white meat down to the blue blood, you know, on some real shit. Because just speaking about something, it ain't got nothing to do with you. So I say that, oh, yeah, I say, yeah man. All these motherfuckers, man. I ain't know this many motherfuckers was gay. Oh, just thinking I'm saying some cool shit to the old head like, you know, yeah, my young, young blood salad. So I say, yeah, all these motherfuckers laid out, man. There's some real, you know, some shit going on. These motherfuckers gay. And he said, <laughs> so he said, come on, young blood, chill, man. All your old heads had a little ass here and there. I said, that's when life got scary. Mm. <laughs> that's when I. That's yeah. when. That's now. 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 Was Pete, step pop homie. Yeah, this is one of his homies, right? So listen, Pete. 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 Game. You think Pete, step pop got low? No, no, no. I ain't gonna say they might have. I don't know, but that's another story. But listen, I'm not putting no smut on old. Rest in peace. But I'm just saying. Rest in peace, old dude. You, you, you but but no, he, I don't know. I don't know. Your I'm not saying. Some ass no, he ain't saying none of that. But he said. He said, man, a lot of your old heads got a little. You know what I mean? Dibbling, dabbling in some ass. For I'm like, so now I'm like. But did he exonerate your pop? Like, no, he didn't say nothing. He I'm, didn't I'm, confirm I'm nor deny. Pop. But listen, let me just say this. Let me say this though, and I'm like, let me just say this. This was, what was crazy about it. What was crazy about it is, is immediately, as we walk, two, three more minutes. I'm trying to keep my cool, and I'm not trying to see that. I right now, and I'm bitching at a rapper rate. I'm saying to myself, hold up. Was your ass on the line? No, hold up. Listen, listen. I'm saying, was I on the fucking menu next? Because I'm trying to say, yeah. if they know he was getting busy, and I'm walking to y'all with him, do they think I'm a young tender in jail? So a lot of shit, I shot back to the cell, told my celly, and I said, because listen, when I came to Dallas, this is when a lot of young boys started to come up because certain jails had caps on them. A cap is when they ain't letting people in that jail no more. So when we came up, it was like a bunch of us younger cats coming into the game. That changed the whole jail. So a lot of old heads was mad because they had to put their dicks up. And I'm not saying that, like, meaning a lot of always run around doing their thing, but they couldn't do it no more because, oh, damn, my 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 my, my daughter, baby father here, or my my nephew, cousin here, or my son up here. And it was so many young boys coming, they know that shit to get back to the streets because we don't know. We're not playing off the regular rules of, nigga, get on the phone, man. You know, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Nene, her dad up here on ass, man. He, he got married in the yard yesterday. <laughs> So oh. now they went undercover and they was mad. It was a little hostility in the air in the joint. Oh, niggas geez. had to put their dicks up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you said it was niggas was stressed. That's such an interesting. Yeah, story. yeah, yeah. That that was listen, listen. Niggas was niggas was like niggas was real mad. Yes. But I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this to somewhere else though. But so what happened when niggas had to put their dicks up? No, I'm gonna give you the game on that one. Cause you you said that like it went down like you was niggas. It was a hostility, man. Like like like. And I'm gonna get into. He should have got poked up. That's just that's that. so crazy. No, no, but, but, but hold, 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 hold. I'm gonna get back to that. But let me, let me, let me convert this right forward to a home. Listen, home. listen. Let me convert this right into stories from the cell. This now is we gonna take this right into that. First of all, I got away from the fucking old head, and I went and hollered at another old head. Right. The shit that basically you tell just was tucking up under old heads. No, 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 no. <laughs> you no, was a tucker, tuck huh? Roll, no, no, I used to talk baby. to old heads. You, you was a tucker, huh? OGs yeah. give you game. But listen, but this would fuck me up. Hey, I went tucker. and I, I went and hollered at another OG basically to say something about to this OG about like this nigga man out of pocket. He said, No, no, young and that was cool. That was So I'm like, which one of y'all wasn't on ass and <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm super scared. Because I'm trying to make sure I can, so listen. I'm trying to make sure I can't be walking the yard and talking to these niggas because I don't want nobody to think my ass is on the menu. I'm just being real up. I was scared. I'm like, this shit. And then this will happen. This will fuck the game up. They took the smut books out of the jails. Mm. Listen, let me tell you something. This is how you know ass around the world. <sighs> Paper pussy is <laughs> equivalent to real pussy in the joint. When they took them joints out, you seen niggas. Paper pussy? Paper pussy. That's porno books. Uh, paper pussy. That's man. You got pussy, is then you got paper pussy. Is it articles or just pictures? Pictures and articles. If you if you super perverted, you can read a joint and just be like, ooh. Yeah. You can read a you can read a you know a joint. But I, I, I'm more though. visual. I like the, the pictures. So Pete. I bet. When they took the joints out, of, they they, they made a new joint and right and the rules where you can have porn. 
So niggas trying to hide him. They, you know, they taking him out. If they catch you in the cell, they write you up. So niggas, so whatever. You couldn't, you couldn't order them no more. Because I used to order the power packs. They had this joint like $22. You get like seven bucks. They had this, this subscription power joint. power pack. Yeah, I used to order them joints at will. At fucking, every time I got a, a money order, I'm ordering me some smut from the That's rip. That's where your money went. Listen, and, I, and, listen, and in my joint, I had a whole... Record box full of good smut. Some talking about black video. So they street, just came and confiscated everybody's smut. Uh, yeah, they was confiscating people. You had to turn it. It was crazy. That's but whatever. Bullshit. As time went on, start fading out. A lot of books they doing shakedowns, taking a bunch of. I seen the energy change in jail, like the whole, like motherfuckers just got super aggressive. Like every every little thing was a problem. I said I got to get the fuck out of this joint, man. I got to stay out the way because it was like motherfuckers was getting. I'm talking about niggas just start. Trying to take buns and all, it was just crazy. Rape? Yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas, niggas was niggas. How many, how many times they try to take your buns? They ain't never do that. Don't Come do on, cause, cause don't do real. that. You're gonna be real for the youth. I'm be being real. I'm not, listen, it ain't happened, but I'm saying this. Did anybody ever put you in the headlock from the back, from the bike? From the what? From the bike. A headlock from the back in jail. Like from the back. Hey, if you okay, in my head, that's how the rape starts. Like no. they lick your face, like while all the fucking no. looking yeah, at nigga you the whole time. Ball head, I look, yeah, I heard that. No, you no, have really no. nice skin. No, no, no. That's 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 some that's spicy. Same shit. thing enough. Nigga that's what I'm saying. I can see a nigga want to like no, lick the, your the, face. But the whole thing was like this, though. A man. You can see a nigga want to lick the your whole thing. Like looking at your skin and thinking about a female skin because female skin is usually nice and soft like that. Like your skin soft, supple like a bitch. So if I was a man, I was staring at it. It would make me like excited. Type of wild shit is you on. I might grab you from the back and lick your motherfucking <laughs> face. If I can't get nothing else but that good grind and that one lick, that's it. So you that's think it. niggas is in jail grinding <laughs> on me? At least here. you know he a bitch. I can smell you yeah, scared, nigga. Like I'm humping on you in the fucking, you know mean? If I can sit you scared, <laughs> right, it been 20 years, I'm going to grind Mold up on right. you. I'm going to put my dick on you the back of your pants. That's what I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> This episode got so crazy okay. at home. Mona would have raped this nigga. Mona was home touching, Jay touching. Laced the weed. Mona That's what happened. Raped. Mona was Mona was in jail touching. First of all, Jay I want to say the craziest thing I heard an old OG say, what? and it pissed me off because mom See, was got, gay too. She on coke right now. I heard she got old up. niggas say stuff like, "Yeah, like threatening a the nigga." They'll say stuff like, "Yeah, I kiss you in your mouth," or like, "Yeah, I go." Like they'll say to the point like, "I'm gonna disrespect him to when I fuck him in the ass." I've heard older men say that. Not a gay man, but older man being like threatening. Like, yeah, I go over to put a gun in that nigga mouth, fuck that nigga in the ass. <laughs> like, I've heard niggas say <laughs> shit. Like, older crazy. niggas. You, oh, that's not, crazy. I definitely oh, have heard old gangster niggas talk like that. Especially the old gangster ones that really need help and can't really get around no more. They just angry as shit. <laughs> and sit on the step on <laughs> some the West, angry the shit. The They'll service. say, I kiss the nigga in the mouth. That's soft ass up. niggas, tight ass jeans. I kiss the nigga in the mouth. Everybody <laughs> turn around like, damn. These young boys will shoot the shit out of them. Damn, man. These young boys can't hear that shit. They yeah, shoot, they shoot old head to the shirt cut of a fire. Uh, they shoot old know, head man. fucking. I miss the 52 fake out days, man. That shit they shoot crazy. that nigga like a dark boy. Listen, man, I knew dudes, some of the toughest niggas back in the day. I'm talking about a lot of niggas, they ain't even had to rumble. They just they just had a, a, a pro professional Hall of Fame argument game. What nigga? Use a bitch. Use well, a his, bitch. His argument game wasn't shit because he tried to bluff Dead Eye Lou. He socked the shit out of Wallow. He went dead under the car. Rolled up under nigga, the car I like retreated, a mechanic. <laughs> I retreated. Fuck you think you talking to, nigga? I ain't one of them niggas. You think I'm a pussy, nigga? All that shit. You pop. <laughs> nigga, listen, I was up you under that joint. <laughs> no. I listen, listen. This is what happened. He fell. Did you hit him He fell and rolled up under a car. No, this is what happened. Like he worked this at what happened. Jiffy Lou. When I fell. And what happened next? And I rolled up under the car. No, what happened next? I was fixing the car. I was trying to fix it, figure out because it was some drips. And I was trying to let me see. I gotta fix this. This is carburetor, say, all that dumb shit. Nigga, I, st I turned to tell mechanic. He stayed under the car to loop. I went from a gangster to a mechanic. You know what's name? Gangster gen. I, I went from trying, a gangster to a mechanic. Trying, trying with you, man. Straight it's up, just, I it never get. I, I, I never I wasn't, know. I ain't like, a, I'm the nigga that ain't got a cap. Yo, okay, I listen. Listen, I didn't go from a gangster to a mechanic. Hold on, she said. But damn, what did he do next? What did you do next? Like he started fixing the car. Did y'all go back? No, he wasn't there. He ran. So he rolled from up under the car and like he went to work on Lou. No, he stayed up under the street. And when Lou just talked shit, yeah, nigga, change my own bitch. What's wrong with you, you bitch? No, he had, I, whatever he, he said, out. I'm going to say this. Whatever he was talking, I didn't hear him because that wasn't my life. My life was a, a mechanic. I was fixing the car, so I don't know what else was here because my, my hearing went out for Man, a minute. Man, get up out from under that car in front of all of them. Another ass nigga. Nigga, I socked. No, they, I, no, they left. Nobody was outside. No, yeah, know. I mean. No, they hey, outside. listen, man, we appreciate you for tuning in each and every week, making this us the number crazy. one music so podcast crazy. in the country. Make sure y'all go to BarstoolSports.com. Barstool get Sports. your merch. Get your merch. Get your merch. Right now. 
And uh, I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. Don't call me white girl. And it's just like that. White!